Hello guys and uh, welcome back to the channel. So I'm a little bit, I'm still a little bit sick unfortunately, but uh, I'm going to make this guide on how to use the 100, uh, 1000 millimeter APS cannons, right? So last time, what, when was it like a couple of days ago, I uploaded a video where I made this cannon. It's, uh, right now it's 500 millimeters, right? But uh, we, I can switch it very easily to a 1000 millimeter so but uh, before i do that i'm gonna show you some stuff right because it's, it's quite confusing so although we can change the cannon to from a 500 up to a 1000 millimeter in fact there's a you know there's a range right so there's a range as you can see uh, let's put it back to 500 there so what you need to do is you need to design a shell that fits for a 500 millimeter and then you have to divide its length the length of the shell if you're going for uh, 1000 millimeter you have to divide it basically by two right so for example the shell that i'm using right now it's, it's why are you loading that shell so let me load this shell really quickly okay that worked fine so I'm using this shell right this one so 16 parts right it fits exactly inside an 8 meter autoloader or 8 meter clip because these guys I set them up to have 8 meter clips because you know I went for uh, length as much length as possible. So right now I it's not a railgun just a pure APS cannon anyway, so if I decide to Change this right to a 1000 millimeter cannon. I have to slash the length of the shell by half, right? So right now it's 16 uh, Let's make a new shell here Call it thousand millimeter right so 16 right 500 so set it to 500 right and then so the stats will actually be doubled but the shell length has to be pretty much divided and i'm not sure about uh, the muzzle velocity or the you know shell velocity but i think that's going to be slashed by half as well so yeah we'll see Anyway, so I had 16, right? Uh, so if I go 8, yep, that's how much. So that's going to fit inside the 8 meter uh, autoloader, basically. So I do have um, safety ejectors, but uh, I'm just going to keep it like this for now. Right, so this is going to load. But at first, I'm gonna check that. So this right now is 500 millimeters. 500 millimeters, 1,009 meters per second shell speed. I don't have issues with uh, recoil. Okay, so now uh, 1,000. And as you can see, as as I'm changed it to a what a thousand, staying uh no shell is loaded because this shell is too big. To be loaded so i have to switch to this one right now it's fine but uh you can kind of see there shell speed well it's not it's not divided by two but uh there's definitely some sort of linear stats going down okay so this is now 1000 millimeters And it fires fires perfectly so that's how you do it uh, by the way apparently there's you can also make it really small so minimum gauge for APS was 18 millimeters right now you can go down to one millimeter and apparently if you make it two millimeters there's some weird stuff that happens but I will test that later on right so this works uh absorption i think it's fine right 
Uh, not really. Not really. Actually, it's pretty good, yeah. Pretty good. Can kind of see it's taking a while there to fire. That's fine. Right. So let's try to make this thing a uh, railgun now. Let's see what happens because I'm, I'm, I'm quite curious. I think I have to add some turbines though. We'll see. Right, where is... Let's put it... Uh, let's put it on the inside, right? On the inside. I think this thing is going to get covered now. Uh, let's do 20,000 draw. Rail draw. One, two, three, four. Right, and let's see. Let's check the shell here. Let's do twenty thousand. Can we? Oh wow, I can. So yeah. So as you can see, expected muzzle velocity is one thousand two hundred seventy-seven. Uh, it's not really true though. It's not going to be true because like that stats. Those stats are for a five hundred millimeter. So probably need more, right? I don't know. Uh, 1042, that's not bad. Right, fire. Gonna pen nicely now. It's not bad. Where did it go? there okay 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 it's not bad it's not bad really it went I went here but I might do AP frag actually like APH is pretty good but uh AP frag something else not bad damage though Let's add more rail draw. What happens here. So we are at 20,000. So 25, 30, 35, 40. <laughs> Can we? Charge time is for a sec. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Yep. That's actually more worth it. How much do you cost now anyway? That's 120k. I mean, I mean, 120k for rail cannon. It's not that expensive. Like if you build a battleship, right? The size is gonna be a million for sure. Right, that's done. Let's. Okay, so let's. This that's that's they're they're wrong. So frag though. In case you're uh 100. And I think if I add a rail case, I think it's worse, right? Yeah, it's worse. Same length, same everything, but it's worse. Okay. Let's try again. Oh, that, that is fast. That is fast. By the way, I have a bug in my game. I think it's, uh, I think it's my keyboard though. Uh, you know how you can check the velocity of something? I think you press caps lock, right? It doesn't work for my game. I have no idea why. What is it? I think it's going right through now. I think it's going right through. I need a fat target. Need a fat, fat, fat target. Um. Do. Let's do Excalibur. Let's do Excalibur. What did that do? What? Okay. Oh wow. That's not bad. So I, I think... I don't know what, what happens if I switch this to a Sabo, because like, it, it's a fat shell, right? But it might do some crazy damage.
kind of like a piercing pack how much uh, electricity I'm using here let's see uh, it's using 100k almost it's okay I mean it's not bad are we really charging to 40,000? I am. I am. It's okay. Actually, make it higher. Oh my god. What the? Okay. So, you know, I'm panning the front, which is not ideal. Because, like, there's so much slopes and stuff like that. But it's doing a lot of damage. What the? Wow. Yeah, if you add speed, it's, it's a lot better. It is a recoil issue, oh yeah. So I might have to add some recoil absorbers here. I think that's what I'm gonna do. But yeah, I mean, the turret cap for these things will have to be absolutely ridiculous. Here. Right? Most ridiculous turret cap in the history of uh, turret caps. Okay, is that enough? Nope. <laughs> nope. How about this? Okay, I think we're good now. My god, dude. So I think the turret cap has to be this wide. Probably. Like, to be safe. Let's see how much this... One, two, three... Yeah. <laughs> this wide. And then it has to end somewhere here. Start here. End here. And this wide. My god. Okay, let's try again. On the tier uh, facing forward, which is not ideal. Still missing. I'm gonna try with more cannons. Come on. Okay, 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 okay. A good hit there. Oh, it's it's not bad. That is not bad. That is really good, actually. Okay, so right now it costs 130k. It's not a lot. I've had a lot more expensive rail cannons. This one and another one here. Well, it's not uh, it's not super expensive, but I mean, you have to remember have to armor this. I mean, if you armor the cap, it's probably gonna cost you 15, 20k more. Right, let's see. Oh, funny thing. So, if you... Let's say you save this, right? You save this cannon. And you uninstall this mod. If you load up this cannon, your game is not going to crash or anything. It will just... Your game will automatically readjust this cannon to a 500mm. So, I mean, that's pretty good. Right. Let's... Oh, so here again, uh, tier is so, so good, I think. This thing. It probably shoot below water, though. Oh, wow. That went right through. On the narrowest part of the ship though. That is interesting. Yep. I think I'm gonna see there. Yeah. 
You know what's funny? I think if you make an AP Fleck, that could be devastating with this kind of uh, shell. Definitely doing some really good damage. Oh, look at those shells going in and going out. Yeah. Yeah, this ship has some balancing problems. Okay, here we are. So this is a Sea Whiz that I used, or that I'm using on a specific ship. It's a patrol. It's a patrol boat, but it has like Sea Whiz capabilities. And usually with this thing, I run it. Let me see here. So I run it 80 millimeter, right? And I run it around 600, 700 RPM. I think I'm, it's using, yeah, it's using, it's using this shell. I have no idea why. Let's remove the shells here because it's very confusing. Uh, let's type C whiz. Actually, two millimeter C whiz, right? So we can go 20, I think. We don't care. And I'm gonna go ahead. I think I'm. I think it's Sabo, right? I think Sabo will do some weird stuff here. Sabo. Sabo. Okay. Actually, let's do AP Sabo. AP Sabo. More Sabo. Oh no. Okay. Uh, base bleeder. It's fifty. How about Sabo head with some solid shot? Oh, that's much better. Much, much, much better. Uh, gun powder. Either? No, oh, that's worse. Okay, let's keep it like this. Right, sign. And let's make it two millimeter. It's a two millimeter does some funky stuff. Okay. Funky stuff at two millimeter. It's not even loading the barrel right now. No idea why. Hello? Where's the barrel? Oh wow, it's so tiny. It's so tiny. It's there, but you can't see it. There it is. Looks like a needle. Okay. Uh, let's try again something small first. Here. Iron Maiden? It's not doing anything! What? What? It's not doing anything! Yeah. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> the shell speed is dropping a lot though. Why? Doesn't make sense. You got it. It's tickling! It's tickling the armor! That's funny! No. Okay. Let's do Sabo. And Solid. Okay, that's much better. Solid. Gunpowder. The one. Let's go. There. That's why it was not doing any damage. What the heck? That's so weird. There you go. And uh, let's give it more barrels. We 
can't see it. It's like a needle. Look at this. Hold on a second. Like, this is messing my brain, right? So this is... It lets me... See, that's a 50 cal. 50 cal, I think it's 12 millimeters? Oh yeah. Oh, 12 millimeters, right? It's uh, about the same, yeah. It's about the same. Let's do two. Okay. That's to reload. I keep changing the barrel size. Okay. Let's go. I mean, okay, it's doing way more damage, but I mean... Like shooting a nerf gun. I, I usually do a thousand damage per second with this cannon. That is... That is pathetic though. So, five. See, you know, that's not bad. That's not bad, that's about 300 damage per second. That's not bad. Let's go 12. The 50 call basically. It's around 500 damage per second. It's just, I don't know. It's a great way to remove decorations, I guess. On a ship. This is funny. It's funny. So, one thing that you have to understand is that this cannon, the way I built it, is to shoot 80 millimeters constantly at around 700, 600 RPM. So, yeah. But this thing right now kind of sucks. Gonna sex. Uh, wait. Let's do reverse. Let's do sabot war hat here. I think it's the same. It's going to be the same here. But my voice is starting to crack. Okay. Let's do two millimeter. I don't understand how two millimeter can take out a megalodon because like. That's what the guy said. No. no, well, I mean, I mean, this is quite balanced. It's quite balanced. Let's try. It is not going to do anything, right? Understand how you can use this shell. Oops. I like this. This heat, right? Okay, it's not doing anything. That's doing something. That is not bad. Like if you make a helicopter, right? Or a plane. This type of cannon, that's not bad. It's not even using a lot of electricity. Forty-five. Doing way way better damage there. So yeah, I mean, with this mod right on, it's not, you're not doing something like that's going to change the game drastically, right? Like if you go 1000 millimeter, it's not that bad. It's more, it's more like interesting than like building something that's overpowered, you know what I mean? 
But like I said, if you don't like this mod, right? By the way, I did not make this mod because like somebody asked me to make like a mod like this and I was like, no, because I want to keep the game as vanilla as possible. Sure, let's change the game sounds or the uh, cannon sounds, you know, that's fine. But uh, like mechanics wise, I like to keep it as vanilla as possible. But this is quite vanilla actually. Like the damage that we're doing, it's not, you know, so significant. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this quite long video here. I'm still a little bit sick, so yeah. But uh, tomorrow I'm going to upload my uh, sound mods to Steam. And I'm going to make like a small guide. It's not too complicated, you know, to install. You just have to like uh, download, subscribe the mod from my Steam Workshop. And then you have to save it on your... Uh, from the depths folder. And then from there, which is by the way, from that folder, I mean the documents, because that's where, when you save a mod, that's where it goes. And then you have to grab like three folders in my mod and paste them in my sounds. You have like a folder, it's called my sounds, you know, you just have to put them there. But uh, tomorrow I'll, I'll, I'll upload like a small tiny video where I'll show you like step by step how to install it. It's very easy to install and uninstall. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this. I don't even know what this video was, right? Just like me trying to explain how this uh, APS mod works. As you can see, the Iron Maiden, I mean, it, it's... It's dying, but I mean, it's not really... I do a lot better with like an 80mm sea whisk cannon with some heat shells, definitely. And yeah, next time I'll actually show you that ship that I have, which I have this particular cannon. But yeah, I'll, I'll start showing you some stuff like that. Anyway, thank you for watching and make sure to subscribe and like. And I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.